Hey everybody, welcome to another exciting episode, another edition of A Week in Geekdom here on YouTube. Today we are going to be talking about Somali and the Forest Spirit, the anime version, and my first impressions. Fortunately for us over here in the West, Crunchyroll struck out a deal with the Japanese companies and we were able to get the first episode a week early. So yeah, awesome, good for them, good for us, good for everybody that we can stream anime uh, before the Japanese broadcast. So uh, what exactly is Somali and the Forest Spirit? You should know that it is based on a fantasy manga series by Yako Bureishi and the adaptation it's done by Sate Light and Hornets. I keep forgetting their name. Uh, the show is going to be running for 12 episodes and in a nutshell this is a story about this other world that is inhabited by a manner of strange creatures, more fantastical in nature, stuff like you know spirits, uh, ghouls, goblins, etc etc. And we follow the story of our two main characters, a golem he is the spirit or the uh, guardian of the forest and he stumbles upon a young girl named Somali, this young girl who is uh, a human. Now humans are very scarce in this world. We're given an explanation in the first episode but we'll have to see what exactly happened as the series progresses and we find out about the story behind this world and the rarity when it comes to humans. So we move forward a little bit in time and we're not entirely sure, we're not given a specific time, but you see that uh, Somali is able to talk more fluently and she develops a relationship with the golem into a father and daughter situation, or at least she sees him as the father figure, which is interesting because, you know, she's a young girl, she's energetic, she's curious about anything that walks her way and the golem he is uh emotionless he doesn't know how to express emotion or the concept of it so it's a pretty interesting dynamic you have a very hyperactive kid with something very solemn in nature although i should point out the golem is voiced by daisuke ono famous for voicing uh jotaro over at jojo's bizarre adventure so i it was I thought it was pretty funny that he, you know, even though he's not expressing any emotion, the character Somali is kind of being uh, annoying to a degree, you know, she is getting lost and, and wandering off and you you sort of know that deep down that golem is going to go like good grief. <laughs> so I thought if he would have said that it would have been a hilarious easter egg, but alas, not, no. I, I should point out that the golem does allow he doesn't mind that she sees him as his father figure it is a very caring relationship between the two so i thought that was pretty heartwarming and wholesome eventually they journey into this town and inside there is the one minor nitpick i have with this series and i know i know you're like who's this guy talking about one episode and he already found something he doesn't like I just thought it was pretty silly the way it was handled, but essentially they go into this uh, tavern or restaurant and in the bar there's, I think it was a pink elephant type creature and uh, the golem is asking about uh, if they've seen any humans around or something like that. And the creature goes, hmm, well, how did that story go, go again with the humans? And then the waiter, or the bartender or something now uh, with the many arms <laughs> he goes well let me tell you and then proceeds to give give us the audience a huge exposition dump i thought it was pretty lazy it could have been done so much better but that's really my only complaint i thought the series started pretty damn great of wonderful characters a rich vibrant background and landscapes and the city and everything looks right it looks beautiful the color tones and the backgrounds it, it all looks pretty magical like you feel it's not our world it's something beyond you know it has that ethereal vibe to it especially in the forest so uh, the character designs are great i love how they did the golem design i thought it was pretty cool how it's sort of mechanical in nature and in a world post baby yoda i think everybody will warm up to somali and how cute, adorable, and precious she is. She has a very cute personality that a lot of people will enjoy watching her adventures and watching her grow up. 
in this strange world. Now there is a really really cool reason behind the her attire which relates to the plot of the first episode which I won't reveal but I thought that was really cool. I liked that scene a whole lot. And the episode itself, uh, it's, it's a little bit of a laid back series. It's not too action oriented or drama heavy. It's just right. Hence why I said at the beginning, sort of slice of life-ish. I'm interested in finding out uh, about all the other characters that I've seen and the promotional materials and posters and all that stuff, how they're gonna go in and affect the story and what uh, adventures uh, await our two protagonists. So I'm really excited about Somali and the Forest Spirit. Uh, this obviously was just a spoiler-free first impression, so I thought they're, it started off with a bang. I am very interested in your thoughts on the episode if you've seen it. Naturally, like I said, 12 episodes at the end of the series' run, I will come back and do a full review of the show. I just wanted to uh, share some of my uh, quick thoughts on Somali and the Forest Spirit. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. Hit the notification bell just in case. And uh, yeah, that's, that's about it. Thank you so much. I've got to go. I'll catch you on our next episode.